Zorn is so great. You think it would go into a time portal and see this horn like if it came off the factory floor. I bet this is actually better than what it did when it came off the factory floor. So stay tuned to this video. I'll tell you a little bit more about this super trumpet. everybody, how you doing? It's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there. Happy New Year, happy new gear to you. Take a moment, hit that subscribe. You don't have to smash, please, you know, just tap it. And um, we appreciate all you do for ACB. Uh, back to the groove here, doing some videos of some recent additions to our shop's uh, repertoire and, and collection here. Look how beautiful this trumpet is. This is an old super trumpet from 1950 or 51, I think it's probably 1951 based on the research that I've done. It's a little bit of a challenge to find exact serial number dates unless they had original bills of sale, but um, with the olds at least. Uh, but the old register, if you haven't checked it out, is a quite a good resource for that. I love the design of this trumpet. I think it's one of the best designed trumpets out there. And they made a bunch of them. This was the probably the most popular horn they made in this era, this and the recording. So this is after the super recording. So they took elements of, of that horn, like the beautiful compact bell flare, two-piece bell. I don't know if you could see the seam, probably not there. Um, you've got the trombone water style, uh, trombone water key style, you know, like the committees, just beautifully crafted. You've got this nickel, Bell Garland. Let's see if I can get, yeah, look how beautiful that is. Then this horn has been restored. From my visual um, take is that it looks like it was restored by someone like Charlie Milk. Really beautiful, um, stunning horn visually. Really beautiful. Even the engraving of the serial number is cool. I think it's just, just an amazing horn. The classic Besson style here. It's it's a light horn, it has no first slide. Let's check out the compression here. Great compression, really solid horn. Um, yeah, and you could hear how efficient that was when I went up to the A at the beginning of the video. Um, and this is just a custom reserve three, so it's like a three C. Um, really great, I love the stress-free bracing here. I just love it. It's like you go into a it's like a time, time machine of this horn. It's just so great. Um, yeah, let me play on it. It's so super versatile. A lot of people think that the super is a bright, bright trumpet. And I think for the most part, it, it does definitely goes on the brighter side of things. But I think it's it, maybe 10 years ago, people would consider it bright. But look at what's happening with all the modern trumpets that are being made now. The Shires trumpets and the Yamaha trumpets. Um, they're getting brighter and brighter. So I think this is actually, and it's funny, full circle, how it comes back to something classic like this design.
very versatile, very versatile, and it feels so lovely. It really is a great horn. I'm um, just looking at the overall condition of the horn, and like I said, it's been restored. Literally, it looks new. Um, great, great horn. Uh, let's play some jazz on it. very, very complex sound palette as well, where, like I said, it's a little narrow because of this shape of the bell, but it can be dark, it can be bright. On a mic, I think this would be really nice. Let me get closer to the mic and play a soft ballad on it. And if you wanted to push it, this horn is super. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, it is awesome. Like I said, that's on a custom reserve three. It's just an acrylic. It will do it. So super versatile, a great trumpet. Truly super. Hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with us. Thanks so much for all you do for ACB. More shows and tells coming soon. Keep on keeping on. Cheers.